statewide push to curb teen drinking comes to Tulsa. Too much to lose teaches police and citizens how to keep alcohol from getting into the hands of kids. New at 10, 2 News reporter Casey Roebuck brings us a look inside tonight's hands-on training. The pool area here at the Southern Hills Marriott set the stage for tonight's exercise. Dozens of teenagers play the role of partiers to give law enforcement a chance to learn the proper and safe way to break up a party. Kids passed out on the ground, plastic beer cups everywhere. It's a typical scene in most green country communities every weekend. But this teen drinking party is a training exercise to give police agencies and people who work with kids a realistic glimpse into these parties and how kids react when police arrive to break them up. While some kids flee or get belligerent. They paid for this. Okay, I did reservations. Others cooperate. Gentlemen, come with me. No matter what happens, Officer Craig Murray says it's important that first responders know what to do. It's a safety feature. That officer wants to go home to his family at the end of the night, and, and so that's what we got to look at is, is how can he can do it safely. Safe for the officers and party goers. Murray says that means making sure officers don't allow intoxicated kids to slip away and get behind the wheel of a car. Raise your hand over 21. The teens are separated into groups. The alcohol is taken away. It's training that many smaller agencies wouldn't receive if it weren't for the Too Much to Lose initiative. Detective Chad Meek is with the Bethany Police Department. He will take the skills he learns here and share them with his fellow officers. It's always good to have that practice because nothing's ever going to go the same, but the more practice you have, the more you can expect and, and learn what what's going to actually approach you at times when you're out there stopping these parties and going into houses. At least five other classes like this are planned in cities across the state to give other law enforcement agencies a chance to learn these same skills. Reporting from South Tulsa, Casey Roebuck, 2 News works for you. As part of that training, yesterday crews went to 40 Tulsa area businesses to see if employees would sell alcohol to minors. Four businesses did and they were issued warnings. One of Tulsa